Hey everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, if you are part of the fam, welcome back. All right, so today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys the techniques that I use to put on these three products on my cheek, bronzer, blush, and highlighter. And I wanna show you the order that I put them in and why I put them in there, okay? So I'm gonna talk about those three, why they're important, how to apply them, and how to make them look natural. I'm also gonna share with you guys some of, my, some of my favorite highlighters, bronzers, and blushes, all right? So if you wanna see how I apply those three products on my cheeks, just keep watching. All right, let's get started. So this is literally the second time I film this video because the first time I did it, I put way too much blush on. I mixed up my order of how I usually do it because the kids were getting me very distracted and I tried to fix it and I did it. I ended up having too much product on my face. So I'm doing it over. So let's get started. So the first thing that I like to put on is my highlighter. I know it sounds very crazy, but the reason why I put on my highlighter first is because I do not like a highlighter that's very intense in your face. I like it to be very subtle and very natural. The point of a highlighter is for you to look like you're glowing, like you just came back from the beach and you're just kind of, yeah, accentuating, accentuating um, the areas where the sun would hit your face and make those glow. So we put them strategically in certain parts of our face so when our face or when the sun hits our face, it shines and glows in specific areas where you look like you have sun-kissed skin. <laughs> so sometimes I do put it on top of like my bronzer and blush, but what I've been doing lately is try putting this puppy on before I do any of them, okay? So people usually do like fan brushes to put on their highlighters. I like using this brush. This is the e.l.f. highlighting brush because I feel like it packs more color. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip it into my, my highlighter. Tap some off, because this is a very, very pigmented highlight. We're gonna put it on the high point of our cheek, okay? So up here, you see how you can barely tell? You can only tell you a highlight on when um, the sun hits it and it kind of glows, okay? So, can you guys see it there? So we're gonna put some there. We're also gonna put some on the other side. And then with whatever you have left on the brush, don't dip it back in there. We're gonna do our forehead just a bit, okay? We're also gonna dip again and we're gonna do our nose, the bridge of our nose. Okay. Very simple, right? All right, next is when I'm gonna do my bronzer, okay? So the point of the bronzer, again, is supposed to kind of tie in with the highlighter where you look like you just came from the beach, you're all bronzed, and we want to do it in specific areas of our face where the sun would hit it, okay? So I'm using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I'm using this like angled, it's called a large angled contour brush. It's angled and it's a F40 by Sigma. This is a very natural brush bronzer you can build it up if you want to have a little more color but I'm literally just you see your cheekbones you're going right be beneath your cheekbones and like I said there's a very light bronzer so you can totally build it up we're also going to do our forehead because the Sun also hits our forehead see how I just added some color to my skin and if I want it more I could certainly just keep adding and building the color okay. all right we're done with the bronzer and then lastly we're gonna do our blush so one of my favorite blushes is a cream blush and one of my favorites is the cream blush by honest beauty this junk is packed like jam-packed with color a little bit goes a long way and I see me having this for like years because there's so much product in here so I'm gonna get a blush brush it is a crown blush brush got this in one of my boxy charms we're gonna dip this in there you want to add put this I guess in in between or sandwich it in between your bronzer and your highlight okay If you want, you can put in the apples of your cheek, just a bit. 
And then what I do is that whatever I have left on the brush, kind of just go up here just so that everything ties in together a little more. See? You can even go on top of your highlight again to just make it nice and soft. Other side. Sandwich in between your bronzer and your highlight. And then the apples of your cheeks, smile. See how nice that looks? And natural. And you still have your highlight, but it's not like smack in your face. You're not blinding people with your highlight. We don't want that. Unless you want that. And hey. Again, we're going to, with whatever we have left on the brush, just so we can tie in the look. You see how pretty that looks? Very natural. You can still see oh, the highlight and the bronzer. So this is a very natural look. I really hate it when I see women put on blush and they do either one of two things. Either they don't put enough so you look like you ain't got nothing on your face or they put so much that you look like somebody just smacked you both cheeks. You don't want that. I mean, if you had to choose between both of them, I would put a little bit more. Like, if you're not sure, you could add a little bit more because chances are during the, thir during the day, you will lose a little bit of the blush. So that way, if you put a little bit more, it'll make it last the whole day. So that's what I would do if I had to pick either one. So this is probably how I would do an everyday highlight. If I'm going to a wedding, I would add a little bit more. And for that, I would use like a little fan brush. We're going to dip it into that one again. And just ever so lightly okay and then to finish it off you always want to set it with like a setting spray this one's from cover effects illuminating setting spray um there's so many out there really cool drugstore ones and high-end ones um i got this in my boxy charm and it's been working so i'm using it into huge bottles so i want to use it all up so i'm going to go ahead and just spray my face that way it lets the products kind of melt into the skin, last a lot, a lot longer and lock it in. So at this point, what this point, what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys. Yeah, I just want to show you a few of my favorite products when it comes to this category. Just some that I've been using for a while and some that I just got my hands on like a couple of days ago that I really like. So yeah, I just want to share it with you. So as far as highlights, I have four that I want to show you. So the first one is my favorite, favorite formula and it's the Becca highlight. This one's in the color Prosecco Pop. This is more of a high-end one. It's like, I believe it's like 39 and 40 bucks. So this one's more of like a golden color. I'm going to swatch it for you. You guys see? Very, very pretty. The next one is one that I used on this video and it's the Rodeo Drive by Ofra. I got this in one of my boxy charms and it's beautiful. My highlight just fell on the floor. Whoops. I'm going to swatch it for you. Wow, this one's intense. It still has like that golden undertone, but it's a lot more pearly than the Becca one. Okay. All right, the next one I've had for years. I should de declutter it and get rid of it, but it's so pretty. Um, it's the MAC Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. This one's more of like a pearly pink. You see how it looks a lot like the Rodeo Drive, but it's pearly pink. And the last one I just got a few days ago, and it's a drugstore one. It's a Wet and the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. And I don't know what the name of this one is because I ripped the sticker off and it's in the garbage. So it's, it's very similar to the soft and gentle it's pink very metallic too and it's so buttery oh my word i feel like i could spread it over toast it's so buttery wow look how intense that is it's a lot more metallic than the other ones you see all right so that's highlights then we're gonna do blushes so the blush that i used for this tutorial was the truly thrilling 
by Honest Beauty. It's a cream blush. I love cream blushes because I feel like they literally melt into the skin. As soon as you put it on, the heat of your skin makes them melt and really stay on the whole day. I love how you can apply it with your fingers and I even use this sometimes as like a lipstick and you can also use it as an eyeshadow. So this is from Honest Beauty. I have two. Truly Thrilling is the one I used for this tutorial. I'm gonna swatch it for you. It's very pinky. Oh. See? Very, very pinky. The next one is Truly Charming. It's more of like a orangey coral color. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Went on so smooth. The next one is a favorite of mine from Sephora. It's called the Hot Flush. It's very orangey, coppery, shimmery. Oh, look how pretty that is. I'm gonna swatch it for you. It's gorgeous. You can use it as an eyeshadow too, I think. Very, very pretty. And the last one is a palette that I got a, about a year ago from Morphe. This is the 9N. And you get nine different blushes. And I love that you get like your lighter ones here, very pinky, very light, very natural, to your very bright ones. This is very bright. And also your darker ones. So I absolutely love this palette. I feel like they're so pigmented here. I'm going to swatch a few for you. This one. Maybe this one. I don't want to do this. That's the first one. That's the second. And I'll do the third one up here. Look how intense that is. You could probably even use, it as, uh, use that as a contour or maybe even a, a bronzer for those, you know, ladies who have deeper skin tones. How pretty is that, right? Like I said, they're very, very, very pigmented. I highly recommend it. I think this was like... Maybe 10 bucks, 10, 13 bucks, I don't know. So worth it. All right, and the next thing are bronzers. The bronzer I use for this video is the Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. Initially, they had two shades. They had a light shade and a bronzer shade, and I had no idea. And when I went to go buy it, I got the light shade without knowing. And I'm like, man, this is so light. I'm not really doing much, and I really had to like build it up. And I was like, what are people raving about? This is so, so light. And I had no idea there were two shades. So when I ran out of that one, I went and got the other one, the, dark, the darker one, which is called actually bronzer. I think they came out with two darker shades in their... Um, website so you can check it out if you want so this one oh, it smells like the beach it's like just it smells delicious so you see over here this gives you a very light let me see can you even see it it's very light very buildable but it totally does give you color don't let the swatching fool ya just saying and the next one that's a favorite of mine is the hula by benefit this one's a classic uh, they're both matte. I like my bronzers to be matte. I do not like shimmery bronzers. I don't know. And I'm going to swatch it as well. You can't really see the swatches. I don't know why they don't swatch that well. Come on, hula. Can you see it? So this one's more warmer. This one's more cooler. Very, very pretty. They're both very buildable and they look very natural. <laughs> Alright guys, so that's about it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hopefully this video was very helpful. I want to start doing videos um, that are not so makeup savvy and like, you know, I love making videos that are very basic for all my girls out there who really don't know much about makeup and want to start learning little by little like I did a while ago. So yeah, I want to just go back to the basics and just show you guys why we use what we use. So I feel like a lot of times I'll do tutorials and I'm sure you're probably just like scratching your head, scratching your head like why is she doing that? Why is she using that product? Why is she doing it this way? So I like doing these videos to kind of show you why we do what we do and um, or why I do what I do and the products I use and just tips that honestly can help you out in your makeup routine. All right. That's about it. Don't forget that I accept prayer requests. So hit me up if you want me to pray for you or add you to my list. And I will. Have a blessed day. God bless. Bye.